sure by the time you see this, it'll be the afternoon. Mm -hmm. mm. Nothing like some Starbucks any time of the day. Um, this is gingerbread. It's probably limited edition for the holidays. So if you like gingerbread, it's not heavy in um, with gingerbread, but you can definitely smell and taste a little bit of the ginger. It is so smooth and so divine. I have to remember to pick up some more when I go back to Stop and Shop. So I'm doing my skincare because I am going out to a pajama party. Hence the pajamas. Fenty Beauty. Thank you, Miss Miss Rihanna Fenty, for coming through with the fit. I love these. They are so comfortable to wear. Who knew that I would like a onesie? So we're just doing a good old-fashioned get ready with me today. I um, wanted to put on my skincare, chat for a little bit. I am going to put some makeup on, but it's going to be very light. I wanted to play with the new Westman Atelier. I'm going to try that foundation that I bought this year again. Um, it's not that I don't like it, because I do like the foundation. I love the coverage. I don't like the smell. The smell just sends me over the edge. But luckily it dissipates quickly before I get too neurotic about the smell. But it does have a scent. <laughs> it does have a scent. So if you are sensitive to smells like I am, you might not want to get it. This might be a two cup coffee day. This might be a two cup of coffee day. I am so exhausted. This is my Tatcha water cream. Haven't used this in a while, but I found it in the back of my skincare refrigerator. And I was gonna open up another moisturizer and I saw this and I was like, oh, this will last me through the new year and then some. So let me not open up the other one and just use this. So that's what I'm doing. I love that it comes with a little spatula so you can kind of measure out how much product to use. Because sometimes I'm an over product user. I'll admit it. I will dig in that bowl or dig in whatever it is and just slather it all over my face, especially skincare. I love, 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 love to slather on my skincare. All right, so yesterday you noticed I had new do. This is um, the second time maybe that I've had my hair braided since I was a little kid. I just don't like it. And now that I've experienced it, I know why I don't like it. It's too tight. And I'm too tender headed. If you're looking for me to wear braids, again, no. And I wanted to get those pretty like butterfly locks that everybody's um, doing and it's so pretty. Can't do it, can't do it. Blame my hair stylist's braider for that because she took me out doing this front. And I kept telling her, it's too tight, it's too tight, it's too tight. Leave it alone, it's too tight. So my regular hairdresser had to come in and like step in and, and help her out because I was like, I'm five seconds away from busting your behind. I told you it's too tight. Hold please. <laughs> and it's funny because she's Haitian. Oh, hold on, just one moment. But what's funny about this, if you can call it funny, is she's, Haitian, so she speaks Creole, and I don't speak any Creole, um, and I don't speak that much French either, but she does speak a little bit of Spanish, very little, because I started telling her, too tight, too tight, too tight, and then I switched to Spanish, and she still didn't understand me, 
And so I had to be like, no, <laughs> no, don't do that. Um, so funny, so bizarre. I digress. So today I'm going to do, like I said, a good old fashioned get ready with me. I'm going to keep it really light and not do team too much. We're gonna start off with Pat McGrath's concealer. So has everyone bought all your holiday gifts? I'll admit I did not do too much of anything in terms of shopping this year. <clears throat> I don't think I will. I don't think I will. I'm not really in the mood. So my secret Santa will get cash this year. I just not just not in the mood. Just not in the mood. I received a couple of gifts, like the bag I showed you yesterday. Um, some other stuff. But I'm not really feeling it this year. Not at all. All right, hold please. Let me go get my foundation. All right, so this is the Westman Atelier Foundation. I wear the shade 11 in case you are a shade match. Because a lot of people say maybe I didn't shake it up that well. And that's why it was giving me the smell. So I'm going to try to do all the things to make it not uh, smell as bad as it does. And maybe it's because it's a clean product. Maybe that's why I'm used to those dirty products. <laughs> Grab our brush. Stop blending that in. Yeah, no, smell is still there. <laughs> Put smudge right in the crease. Let me grab, oh, now I see the brush <laughs> that I wanted. Let me blend this out with this brush. This is her Fusion series, and it's supposed to be good for this type of product, that creamy, moussey type of product. It's supposed to be very good to blend it out, and it is doing a very good job. I'm using that first shade, what's that called? Mink, in the inner corner. I'm just blending it over to what we did there. Back to smudge. I'm wiping off the uh, makeup over here because I'm going to use this same brush. I'm going to line the lower lash line all the way across. Pretty, very simple. Eye makeup look. No muss, no fuss. Keeping it light and cute. Um, I'm not gonna untwist the hair that I have in twist until I get ready to go. And I am going to switch out my stars for my little rose gold huggies. All right, using my Gucci all over powder. Let's grab the Anishi Pro. This is one I don't even have to look to see like what the name of it is because this is such a unique brush and it's the only one I think I have like this in my collection, at least for natural hair, this is the only one that I have like this. So it's easy for me to say what the name of this is. So good. All right, 
Let's spritz with a little bit of Charlotte Valley. Lip oil action today. All right, we are done. Let's go now and look at some Ellen calendars, shall we? Let's go. Okay, we're gonna start with OPI. Sorry, day number seven. <laughs> day number 17, sorry. It is Deck to the Pines. Okay, another sparkler. Day number 17, here we go. Deck to the Pines. Oh, that's pretty. Nice, pretty green. And now for Joe Malone. Day number 17. Tonka. Yes, honey. Me and the bestie were like, this better be a candle up in here, another candle up in here. And it's Mirth and Tonka. This is one of her new scents. Okay. We're 11 day number 17. Yes. Of course, 17 would be good. That's my, that's my birth number. All right, let's read about Mirth and Tonka before we move on. It says, add the finishing touch to your Christmas table with a cologne intense mini candle to create a sensuous atmosphere. Okay, sensuous atmosphere. Okay, yum. Okay, and lastly, we're opening up the wine advent calendar from In Good Taste. Let's do that. Day 17 is here. Let's see what we got. Another Wild Child 2001 Pintage. Pinotage? Pintage? Pinotage. I think it's Pinotage. Because uh, it's Pinot. Ooh. 13.5 alcohol volume. Ooh. That packs a little punch. So the Pintage is the love child of Pinot Noir and Sinault. Pinotage takes its best traits from both parents. The result is a smooth, fruity wine with enticing undertones of bramble and earth, an excellent hybrid. Tasting notes you'll find in this is black cherry, fig, mint, and roasted meat. Wow. And have it with provolone cheese, and drink this wine with someone you are thankful for. Wow. Okay. I like it. Okay, not bad for day number 17. We got the Mirth and Tonka candle. We got the Pintage. And we got the OPI nail polish. Nice, nice, nice. 